That means I'm leaving on my trip tomorrow. And where am I going? To meet my mentor, my crafting mentor. This is the person who has guided me through this entire crochet, knitting, sewing, crafting process that I've been on. I've told you before if you've watched my videos that I am a techno person. I take computers apart and put them back together and things like that. So crafting is new to me. And that person is Erin. Give me yarn 418. Now how this came about is pretty funny. It's all a mistake. And Anyway, it, blo it blossomed into a trip to go and vi visit them, so I'm really excited about it. So, you saw me get out last week a green suitcase, a little small suitcase, because I wasn't going to be gone that long. Well, that had to change. We have gotten out the big suitcase, and if you can see, it's been on many a trip. The airlines pretty rough on it and that's got some hair on it but you can see right there where it's gotten so worn the whole bottom and everything scuffed up but it's a goodie an oldie but a goodie now the question you might be wondering is why does your hair look so horrible <laughs> well I need a haircut really bad so I went today I went to get my hair cut and she was sick so she couldn't do it so I have to go I didn't even wash it or anything because I thought oh she's gonna wash it and start all over again so that's why I look like hell Columbia but that's not really the question you have is it the question you might be saying is why do you need that big giant suitcase when you're going for such a short time well the reason is because right over here these are the things that i am packing it's a really pretty day outside so i've got the door open but you see all those hats right there those are the donation hats and the good thing well let's see what else do we have over here here's a little better angle um these are the hats that i'm bringing for erin well this is an an ear thing. I don't know if they can, but what I tried to do was to pick out all my thickest hats because it's so much colder in Vermont than it is here. So these are the donation hats. This is a prize I made for Erin. She loves Batman. I tried to find that little bitty Batman guy fabric, but I couldn't find that. These, of course, are my supplements. Everybody does take vitamins, don't you? The old 1990s frame of thought is you don't need vitamins if you're eating a well-balanced diet, but that's a bunch of hooey these days, and I know because I have a nutrition background. Um, <laughs> this is for Kristen. Yeah, it's a long story, but we're going to see if she likes this brand of mac and cheese because nobody needs to be eating Kraft macaroni and cheese. They told me it's going to be cold, so I brought my sheep in a row hat. I don't remember the exact name of that which is a pattern that Erin had gifted me, and a coat, which I need, my protein for my breakfast, and that's all I've got so far. So, I'm busy packing. Now, see how handy this is? Everything that's in this bag right here, in this cleaner's bag, will go, will be left in Vermont. And that means I'll have this much room for yarn because we're going to webs. My first time to webs. So here I am. It's Thursday. And I'm still in Mississippi. And the reason why is because they saw fit to cancel my flight last night. So uh, I've rescheduled and I'm supposed to leave in the morning. We are going to do Friday to Monday instead of Thursday to Sunday as we had originally planned. So um, crossing fingers that all goes well. I did manage to get a haircut today so that was good. Trying to be positive here. 
So I guess um, I won't feel comfortable till I actually make it on Vermont soil. <laughs> You can't beat a sunrise from above. Now this was interesting. I flew into Reagan National in DC and it was a small plane, but we had to get off on the tarmac and ride these buses over to the terminal. And look, there's my orange bag. At least I know it made it off my plane and they were heading towards the new plane. Since I flew into Burlington, Vermont, I had to rent a car and drive down to where they live. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm in Vermont. I landed in Burlington. And would you look at how beautiful. Oh, I just saw a church steeple in the midst of the color. Isn't that wonderful? This is so not doing it justice. I wish you people could see the gorgeous mountains. Look! A Vermont farm. I bet they have Vermont horses. So I stayed at the Hampton Inn at White River Junction, and because I always love watching Zoe's hotel tours, I threw one in too. Okay, so here's the room tour just for Zoe, 24 karat crochet. You walk in the door, oh look, you have a little nightlight. 
You walk in the door and here is the bathroom. And there's the coffee maker in the bathroom that I do not like. And here is the shower with the big rounded, can you tell that that comes out, which gives you more room in the shower. I really like that. That's normal for Hampton Inns. And I got a double room, which is two double beds, basically. Nice flat screen TV, lovely picture. TV, table, microwave, fridge. And you know, this is something that I appreciate in a hotel room is to have a little extra storage. So you can put your stuff down there. And when the maids come to clean and they spray their cleaner, your toothbrush won't get cleaner all over it. And this is a nice space saver. You see that big mirror right there? Well, that's actually your closet door where you have the iron, extra pillow and blanket, or pillow, I guess I should say, your hangers and your ironing board. Kristen ended up taking the dogs back home, and Erin and I made a stop by her local yarn store, which was wonderful. So I got to meet some of her friends and see where she hangs out for knit night, and of course I had to buy something. If you're interested in what we bought, then you'll need to go to Erin's channel, see link in the description box of course, where she did a video called not a yarn crawl yarn crawl haul where we show everything that we bought on all our yarn store visits we took a beautiful walk that afternoon in a park right by their house this is a beautiful scenery they get to see every day and i'm kicking myself that i didn't take more pictures and videos that first day but i was having such a great time i never picked the camera up especially that wonderful vegetable soup that Erin made mm.